recently a study published about asteroid quakes and like seismic activity on asteroids. There's um, been a lot of speculation about what that would be like. I mean, we think, and we, there's a lot of evidence that, that asteroids, most asteroids are rubble piles. What does that mean? It means they're loosely bound just by gravity alone because we, we, when we fly by them with our spacecraft, um, like Matilda, which is an asteroid we flew by with the Galileo spacecraft, and, and, and others that we've, we've observed, and how they affect the spacecraft by their gravitational effect, we can tell how dense they are, because we can see how big they are and we know their mass. And they tend to be very under dense. Some of them are less dense than water. They would float if you put them on water, some of these, these asteroids. So, so we think they're piles of rubble, which have a lot of, of, of not air, <laughs> vacuum, in between, empty space. And in fact, when we look at meteorites using our CT scanner, uh, my colleague John Friedrich at Fordham University has, has, has really pioneered the understanding of the porosity relationships and how compacted the rocks are. Now, rocks that are not compacted at all, loose aggregations of dusty material, they come in the atmosphere, they're gonna break into smithereens and just become atmospheric fallout dust, meteorite fallout. And, and that, in fact, that kind of space dust is most of the material that hits the Earth small material. But every day there's probably a few fist-sized, basketball-sized objects that, that impact the atmosphere. And some of them are recovered as meteorites if they're big enough that they survive, and little bits of them survive. Usually they break into pieces. But the whole way that the asteroids are put together is of interest because if something was going to hit us, how we would mitigate that, what we would do about it, depends a lot on the material properties of the rocks themselves. Could 2012 DA-14 be one of these loosely packed conglomerations of rocks? Probably is. We should know from the radar ranging measurements and how the encounter with the Earth affects it, we should be able to get a much better estimate of its mass. I don't know if there's anyone who's already determined what its mass probably is, but, but certainly after the flyby we'll have much better data with which to make that estimate. But the, the uh, you asked about quakes on asteroids. Uh, what we have observed on, on, on many asteroids, uh, most, most earliest one I think that we really got a sense of this was uh, the Eros asteroid with the and near mission, near Earth asteroid rendezvous. And which was an extremely successful mission. And what we saw were deposits on the surface that looked like they were concentrations of fine material, very fine grained material. Um, and we know from terrestrial rock mechanics and so forth that you can get such things by shaking and, and sorting that comes from shaking. And then slides of material, even in its low gravity situations, like asteroids. Um, you could get this kind of concentration through shaking. So there's your quakes. Even a small impact on such a body is going to create a little shaking. And things rearrange themselves and are not gravitationally stable. The, the gravitational field of, of Eros was very complicated. And making sense of it was a big puzzle for, for the scientists who were part of that mission. Right, and um, 2012 DA-14 is coming close enough that it could potentially feel It'll feel, the Earth's, it'll feel the Earth's uh, tug, gravitational pull, and the uh, orbital mechanics people who have the software and the, and the, and the, 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 the skills to, to understand this better uh, say that they can actually predict its orbital period now is known, and its orbital period will change by, I think it's like eight days, it's, it's, it's a large number. Uh, and its orbital period right now is about the same as the Earth's, which is 365 days. And it's, it'll change due to its encounter with the Earth. And so that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll have a big effect on this rock, much bigger effect than it will have on us, which is a good thing. <laughs>